Yes. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good. May all Skellige know Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief. Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urgoros created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urgoros made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Where do you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ciri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. For as she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? Huh. What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yen. I saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here, then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive, somehow. What now? The mask reveals the past. But only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. Instructions? The king told us that you've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range.
What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved, like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. that hmm. a magic explosion of some sort so powerful that even the echo was dangerous i wager it destroyed the forest but siri and her companion weren't harmed i saw them escape let's see where to this is creepy i don't like it nor do i anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving I know that you're thinking, but don't worry siri can take care of this. Come on! Chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Likely. It's Siri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Siri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Siri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ceres. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you...? I can. Armor's clean. 
No blood, no sword mix. Siri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Oh, the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a writer of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Siri's veins. It is true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well. It happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lotharton. Mm hmm. See you there. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. <laughs>